Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Magic the Gathering Happy Fun Hour. I'm your host, Frank Lepore. I'm going to take this niv miss of the Fire Mine because I don't think it's really close. Uh, I don't see any card in this pack I would take over this. Maybe Nizumi Cutthroat because this card is like premier two-drop evasive creature in the format, but uh, I'm going to take this niv miss it because I don't think it's actually close. <clears throat> How do I feel about red green monsters? I don't seem to have any luck with it on FNM, although it seems to be a good match with Venus Clover versus. Um, honestly, I haven't played nearly enough standard to know. I'll be honest with you. I hate I hate to say it because it's just a, such a unfulfilling response. But I've played very little standard. I play standard maybe once a week, um, for Saturday videos. So I don't get enough practice with the format, um, and I don't get to play a bunch of decks frequently enough to. Uh, To, to make that opinion, to have that opinion, to form that opinion. Is Flash any good? I literally have no idea if Flash is good here. I mean, it's probably just Sift. I mean, I can't value fixing in a format with no fixing. There's literal no fixing in this format, so... I do respect Treasure Keeper. I think Treasure Keeper is great. Um, I just respect niv at the Fire Mind a little bit more. I want to take this Chandra's Outrage. <clears throat> I hope we I hope they play new Wari against us and we have Nim Mizzet in hand. That seems pretty okay. What up, Martian? Uh, you can value it. your values are just meaningless. There is Protean Hulk, but I'm not gonna take a flash and hope I get a Protean Hulk, which is a color I'm not even in. Yeah, we're gonna take the outrage here. Uh skeleton eye seems pretty good. I also don't care about fixing when we have two, when we're two colors because then we're just like, hey, I'll just play. I th I'm pretty sure by turn six we'll have two blue and two red. Uh, I'm just gonna take skeleton eyes. I'm gonna take all the good removal here. Dale, what's going on? Uh, a curiosity would be very nice. Secret Alien, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Sultai Brood, really appreciate it. Preesh, as the kids say. Do they say that? I don't know. I don't know, Dad. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it's just Horseshoe Crab here. Like, this is the deck that's going to have the combos. It also blocks things, which is nice. It's either Horseshoe Crab or Dragon's Eye Savants, and I don't think it's Dragon's Eye Savants, so... Jojo MK, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the welcome to the Soul Type Brood. Also appreciate the sub. I have Rock Lobster in my head, but I'm pretty sure I've had Rock Lobster in my head for like the past three days. Is there a reason? Is there like a card? Is Horseshoe Crab giving me Rock Lobster in the head? Is that is that what's happening? Like, I see Horseshoe Crab and I'm like, that's like a lobster. That's a sea bug. They're all sea bugs. Jojo, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Sorry about that. Did not mean to uh, uh, mis mislabel. <clears throat> My apologies. It's not Brainstorm. Is it just Cinderstorm? I don't even know, man. All right, good. Glad glad to not offend. Glad to not offend. Uh, Brainstorm does work well with Niv-Mizzic, but... 
I watched a 20 minute advertisement on one of your YouTube videos the other day. I had my <laughs> so I need some cardio. I don't know. I left my phone open and went to the other room. And said, what the 24 minutes? That's insane. I am just going to take the brainstorm, I guess. I don't love it. <clears throat> well, I do appreciate the support, so thank you so much. Means a ton. I have no idea how YouTube works. I don't know if you get more money for the longer people watch the ads. I have no idea. I'm going to take this Shoreline Ranger. Ranger? I always say Ranger and it sounds like Rager. Fortune Thief. That's cute. That's a little cutie. I'm definitely taking this ghost ship. I think I'm definitely taking it. This card's not good, right? There is not a lot of red cards. I like Kortusar, but come on, we're not being able to pay the white. We're not being able to pay the white. That's like, that's something right there. We're not being able to pay the white. I don't know if Skirt Commando is any good. I love that this, is this set any good for drafts is just a question that people keep asking. There's always someone who asks that in the chat. Like, I'm just going to say, yes. Yes, it is. Wow, the flash came back. All right. Cordusar? Skirk Commando? Eh, it's not Skirk Commando. We're not going to play Cordusar. I might play... Noble Templar makes things easy, I guess. Eh, Dragon's Eye Simon is fine. Not exciting, but fine. Wow, that is a late Nizumi Cutthroat. That is a awkwardly late Nizumi Cutthroat. Wow. That is also a card I will play. This card's nice because it actually blocks the fear guys. So you can just make like a 1-7. Lightning Bolt and a Kindle. I think rest in peace is like three tickets, which actually might be enough to get me to take it. It's like 350. I don't think Miko Koro is worth it's it's not. I don't even know why I said I don't know if. Yeah. God, I'm tempted to just take the rest in peace. It's obviously bolt, but it's really hard to pass four tickets. Like Center of the Sea is actually, no, the, the, it's actually worth less foil. It's only worth 25 cents in foil. Tempted to just take this. I'm pretty sure I'm just taking the four, the four, the four tickets. Like, I mean, this set's so expensive to draft. Like, you have to make money where you can. Yeah, like, I, I hate to do it. I really hate to do it, but... I kind of want to take Pact of Negation just because it protects our Niv Mizzet. I think it's actually Pact of Negation here. It's not Browbeat. I think Mystic of the Hidden Way is second, but I'm going to take the Pact because I just want to be protecting Niv Mizzet. Counterspell seems great here. I'll take a Counterspell. <clears throat> also, Myriad Landscape also seems like it could be very good. I think I'd just rather have the Counterspell, though. And I'm hoping uh, Blue Elemental Blast comes back because it's actually... Very good in certain matchups. We were able to kill a Niv Mizzet with a Blue Elemental Blast the other day. That was pretty sweet. Wow, that's a late Rat Catcher. It's also a late Pillage. And a three ticket Ash Barons. I like Ash Barons actually because it lets us cycle other things. I want the Merfolk Looter, but again, three tickets. Like we're passing Lightning Bolt and Merfolk Looter for six tickets here, which is a pack. I mean, I'd rather have Ash Barons than Cougar just because this lets us. This also gets us the red, but it also lets us. Uh, Okay, that's definitely not the price of... That's definitely not... Yeah, E-Price is probably more accurate. It's only two tickets, but... I'm going to take Ash Brands here. Pyroclasm seems like it's very good in this format. Plus, we have Noble Templar and Ash Baron, so maybe we can even play a white card if we want to. I'm going to take this Pyroclasm. Double Retraction Helix. 
Is that better than Crimson Mage? Is Triskaidekaphobia playable for us? Hmm. Helix is fun with Crab. I don't mind having a Helix, actually. I'll take the Unfoil one. Phantasmal Bear, I don't care about. Um, accumulated Knowledge could be good if we get more. Especially with Niv Mizzet. It's not Pillage. I don't think it's Flunkies. <gasps> That's exciting. That is a late Quicksilver Dagger as well. <clears throat> you can go on the sideboard. You're going to be a five mana spell. I think Brainstorm is better than the first accumulated knowledge. I don't think it's better than any subsequent accumulated knowledges. I think our deck looks pretty good right now, actually. Hey, the Miko Koro came back. I kind of just like Bloodhunter bad here. I'm probably not going to play it, but... Yes, this is not a Phantom Draft. Oh my god. It's my dad. It's just Balduvian Horde. I think it's Balduvian Horde. I'm your dad. Katie, you're my favorite. Um, Primal Clay? Cinderstorm? I don't think it's Cinderstorm. Like, there's so many times where I'm like, if I just had a Cinderstorm, I could win the game. I'm okay, dad. But, like, then there's I'm times okay, where I'm like, dad. I just played it twice. I didn't mean to. I thought I turned it off, but I don't have to do that anymore. I actually don't know what to take here. I think it's just one Cinderstorm. I think that's fine. <gasps> That's so great. I'm so glad this came back. It's such a solid sideboard card. Oh, Chartooth Cougar is also good. Yeah, Fortune Thief was another card we were considering playing. All right, everybody wins. Wow. And I like Pillage for the sideboard, too. Deal with an artifact. Deal with a Caustic Tard land. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. Put Cinderstorm over here. I don't feel like it's going to make the... Oh, my God. Oh, Hell's Caretaker and a Ball Lightning. And another Quicksilver Dagger. Good Lord. How many Quicksilver Daggers is too many? Yeah, open Jace. That'll be the day. I have not ripped a Jace yet, no. I have got a Tree of Redemption in my very first draft. That was good times. Well, if three is too many, then Quicksilver Dagger is probably just fine. It's also great on, like, a Dragon's Eye Savant that you can just, like... Oh, Brian. Oh, the double Her Hell's Caretaker. That's pretty good. That's reasonable. That's a real thing. Zaxor, I feel like this is almost your stipulation come to life. Is this a May ability? 
No, wait, never mind. That doesn't make any sense. I do want one more horseshoe crab. I don't think I care about Skirt Commando either. Or Fortune Thief. Alright, that gives us a little more room to play with. It is, like... Like, it is good. Like, don't get me wrong. But I feel like it's so many eggs in one basket. Like, it's just like... I don't want to put a Quicksilver Dagger and a Freed from the Reel on one creature and then they just go murder it. And you're like, alright, cool. That's three That's three cards on one guy. Like, I'm just... It just doesn't seem great. I think Brian Elemental is actually a very strong card here. I'm tempted to take this Rurikthar and just splash it off of, like, Ash Barons. Tell me that's a bad idea. I mean, if we have blue, blue up, then, like, we're, we have to also have the counter spell. I mean, it's just Shoreline Rager. Like, like Shoreline Rager is the only card I actually care about in this pack. I'm just going to take the, the Rorkthar just in case. Enthralling Victor. Arcane Denial seems fine. Chandra's Outrage is probably better, though. I like having two Outrages. That sounds outrageous. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. Wow, the double Pyroclasm deck? Sundering Titan? Spike Shot Goblin? Also, being able to... This is this card's interesting because there's not a lot of cards that pump power in this format, it seems like. Nothing permanent. There's no, like, enchantment that you can put on it that makes it stronger. Oh, I see what you're saying. You just break even if they have a way to kill it. I think it's just actually double Pyroclasm. This format seems like it's great. Like, Pyroclasm seems like a great card in this format. I like Spike Shot Goblin a lot, but it also dies to the Pyroclasm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take Pyroclasm here. Skeletonize and Umber Dose. That's pretty good. Like, we have a lot of removal right now, which is pretty nice. Another ghost ship? Yeah, I'll probably play ghost ship over something else like Primal Clay in the main deck. That's pretty bad. One more cut? Probably totally lost. It's only nine creatures. It's pretty scary. Not thrilled on Brainstorm or Accumulated Knowledge if we don't have more creatures or more, uh, if we don't have more Accumulated Knowledges, I'm not really thrilled on Accumulated Knowledge. This is an interesting uncommon. Oh, another Counterspell. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Our pack one pick one was the Firemind himself. Do you think non-vintage cubes are worse than the vintage one? Uh, no, I just think they're different. I enjoy all of the cubes for their different qualities. Plus, sometimes you just don't want to get uh, burned out. Oh, Horseshoe Crab number dose. That's exactly what we wanted. This deck seems pretty good. I like, I love Quicksilver Dagger on like a Dragon's Eye Savant if we don't put on like a Horseshoe Crab just because it's a big idiot that isn't easy to kill. Um, none of these cards are super thrilling. I probably just want the other creature. I think we already have enough draw card drawing, especially with Double, double Daggers and uh, Niv Mizzet. Shoreline Ranger number dose. All right. Seems fine. I like having as many Arcane Denials as I can. Actually, maybe it's just two drop. Probably not. Probably just take the Arcane Denial. I like having counter spells. Soul Bright Flamekin is fine. What if our last card is another self assembler? That'd be sweet. It was not. Is 10 creatures enough? Unfortunately, Quicksilver Dagger does not kill. Um, the none of our creatures die to to pyroclasm which is amazing 
This does as a 2-2, but not as a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, this does as a 2-2. Two, two. But, like, nothing dies to Pyroclasm, which is pretty sweet. This deck looks pretty good. Uh, why pass the Brainstorm? Because I'm not going to be playing one Brainstorm, let alone two. I wish this could target creatures. Oh, man. I mean, I'll take it. Deal a damage, draw a card. Sure. I don't think we play Ash... Maybe we do play Ash Barons, just because it gets us, like... It gets us double red, double blue. But we're, like, paying a mana to do it. Yeah, 9-8 seems right. Like, if we draw Island Ash Barons and we just have to cycle the Ash Barons to get, like, the second Island, it just seems su super bad. Uh, I don't think this is a 16 land deck. I think we definitely want to hit land drops every single turn. We also have so much to do with our mana, from untapping Horseshoe Crabs to flipping a Brine Elemental... Like there's, I definitely don't see. Uh, yeah, but we don't need we don't need fixing in the two color deck. Like it's two colors. No, brainstorm is just really bad if you don't have efficient ways to shuffle. And I think the only ways to shuffle are Chartooth Cougar and Shoreline Ranger, Rage, Rager, not Ranger, Ranger. No, it is Ranger. I think I'm having a mild stroke right now. Twenty three lands, seventeen spells. That's pretty good actually. I'm, I, I actually have a feeling that's probably correct. All right, I'm excited about this deck. Let's see how let's see how things go. I'm okay, dad. Um, I'll actually keep this hand. Our double symbols don't even take place until, like... Like, we have this on turn two, but, like, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, they don't start until turn four, which is plenty of time. We'll be fine. Why is this so big? You don't need to be this big. We're probably never drawing another land, period. It's not just an island thing. And I feel like Bolivian Horde doesn't come down until we just have lands in hand. Wow, that was aggressive. Hey, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm okay with Horseshoe Crab into Chandra's Outrage, uh, Chandra's Outrage if we have to. Alright. Here comes Iwamori. Oh my god, if they play an Iwamori, I'd... Oh god, dang it. That would have been so exciting, dude. I would have been super excited. That's also pretty exciting. Can you imagine if they played Demon Warrior right there? We just dropped Niv Mizzet into play. Oh my god. I guess there's still time. They're green. So. Oh, Corsair of Crew Fix. Dang. Aberration. Pretty sure we're just killing the Wild Heart Invoker here. If we draw land, that is. We did not draw a land, but we kind of drew a land. I'm just going to pass here with Counterspell up. Obviously, what else would I do? <laughs> Horror. We're definitely countering the Aberration if they play it. 
I'll block here. Block here if they attack with this guy. I'll take six here. Interesting. Disfigure? All right. So, aberration indeed. Hmm. What's our choice here? They have two cards. They're drawing a horror. Just Chandra's Outrage, the Wild Heart Invoker? It doesn't seem great, though. They only have six mana now, so we have a turn before we have to do that. I might just want a Quicksilver Dagger shoot, untap, shoot again. What do we take, though? Four? I guess we can block here. I My concern with Horde is that we either discard Niv-Mizzet or Chandra's Outrage. And we want to keep both of those. One thing we do is Chartooth Cougar for a land, and then we can play Quicksilver Dagger on here. Uh, shoot, block, and shoot during their turn. Which could bring us closer to hitting a land. Like, I want to keep all my cards in hand, so I don't think Horde is the, is the correct play. I'd rather, just, I'd rather just kill this, to be quite honest. <sighs> draw a card, draw a card. Shoot, shoot. Like, we can just take things down with Niv Mizzet, though. That's what we wanted to see. Okay. That's a pretty good. That's a spicy meatball. All right, I feel I feel good about this play. Are I gonna do something on upkeep? Oh no, survivalist. That's frustrating. Oh, just this guy. All right, cool. That's great news. So we have two, three draws to hit a land. We can shoot, draw a card for the turn, and then shoot again. So we have to draw three cards. That's pretty good. If we draw a land, we're just going to instantly play Niv-Mizzet, right? All right, I like this because they only have uh, Horror and one other card in hand. We do kind of have to kill this guy, though, because now they have they'll have eight mana next turn if they hit a land. Which makes this guy just terrifying. Yep. Oof. Skeleton eyes almost seems better on this guy. Can you imagine if we drew a second pyroclasm? Oh my god, how good would that be, dude? And we can actually counter this guy if we wanted to. Well, we can't if they skeletonize, I guess. Skeletonize also gives us a blocker.
All right, that's pretty good. And I imagine they just play survivalist and uh, flip it. So they have one card. All right. I mean, we drew a million cards with Horseshoe Crab anyway. I don't. I, I'd rather not counter an Enoch Survivalist. That's not really my concern. Plus, if we can land Niv-Mizzet, we get to know everything they draw, and we can save Counterspell till it's relevant. All right, Swamp on top is great. Unless you have Sundering Titan in hand. I guess even then it's fine, because you, you can already cast Sundering Titan. Uh, we can't shoot creatures with this. It's just players, so... Oh, we're definitely blocking with this guy. That was a good deal. Yep. <laughs> Comical. This feels pretty safe, because we know they draw a Swamp next turn. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. So now we know you have a Swamp in hand. That's pretty good. Hope you don't have main... Hope you don't have Plummet slash Murder in hand? That you're just... Oh, you're, you're, you're cycling Elvish Aberration because that doesn't do anything and neither does a Swamp. Okay. Oh my god, the top card stayed the same. Woo! <laughs> oh boy. So you're going to get back Undead Gladiator. Oh, we're still in upkeep. So you got back Undead Gladiator probably to draw the Swamp. Yeah, this, this horror needs to die. Oh, you're going to draw Elf. Okay, so Swamp. I guess we're just blocking with Horseshoe Crab here. It's not ideal, but we're also not blocking with Nimizit. And we're also not dying, so... Oh, you're going to get him, get him back again. Okay, cool. Sure. So you have... Glad Elf. No, you do get to play a forest. That's pretty rewarding for you. Oh, well, we have Counterspell in hand, actually. I don't care about that. <laughs> there you go. Alan with the with the Ric Flair memes. So we can actually... Um, oh, this is aggressive. Uh, blocking you for sure. Blocking you, I guess? Taking two... Or three, rather? Sure. It's murder. All right, so we keep up two. We have five five mana that we can play with here. So I'm pretty sure it's just Chandra's Outrage, this guy. Counterspell your murder. And forest. Dirge of Dread, sure. Let's see their card in their hand. Gladiator, glad, glad murder. Mm. 
Okay, so you have murder and dirge. This is getting confusing. I mean, I doubt you're going to play Dirge of Dread, right? How is Dagger plus Pyroclasma board wipe? This guy would have... Okay, this guy would have two damage. This guy would have two damage. Pyroclasm would have killed Elf, the other guy. We could have dealt one with Niv-Mizzet with my draw for the turn. Um, Dagger doesn't shoot creatures. It shoots, play it shoots players only. I think that's what you mean. Like, I can't shoot a creature with a dagger. So... Like, that, that's definitely not a board wipe. All right, so you have Dirge, Cultivate, and Hand. Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable out skeletonizing this guy now. <laughs> oh, all right, we win the game. Cool. <laughs> fun deck is fun. All right. Does pillage kill anything we cared about? Not really. Um, they have a lot of big creatures, which is a little scary, but I think we're actually fine. I think actually seeing all the cards they had, like, I feel like... Um, Uh, I feel like the, the Courser actually benefited us more than them. Like, being able to see the cards they're drawing let us know exactly what to play around. Star Crash, what's going on, buddy? Wow, this is a slow start from our opponent. Oh, it's your boy. Let's represent the counterspell, at least. Pack 2 past Vendillion Click. That seems pretty good. I feel like your opponent probably didn't know that that's what they were passing. But that's weird to spend, like, 30 bucks on a, on a, on a, on a local, like, an IRL draft and not know Vendillion. Like, what do you take over... Unless they took, like, Foil Jace, I'd be real interested to know what they took there. Yeah, this is fine. I don't care about this. What's a Dial Land? Like, the Filter Lands, you mean? I've never heard them called Dial Lands before. So you revealed Swamp, you revealed Forest. What did you put into play? You played a Forest, you played a Swamp... And you played a forest. Forest, forest, swamp. So you put the swamp into play. I'm going to actually cycle the cougar here to make sure we hit our land drops. And then we're going to feel bad when we hit too many land drops. But that's life, I guess. Oh, we can play old briny. Then we can play old shipper. I, yeah, I did see the Dominaria leaks. I haven't seen... I haven't uh, given them enough of a look to really pay attention. This guy's annoying. Time to just Quicksilver Dagger and start drawing a million cards. Oh, they still have Forest. That's weird.
Wait, look, wh why is this like, did you see that? Like it just popped up. It's like, hey, just wanted to remind you that I'm still, uh, still a guy. You looking for your old pal Brian Elemental? I'm right here. Do we double block? I don't think so. Any like cycle card is real bad for us. Whereas like if we draw, if we actually cycle Shoreline Rager, we can play Island and just block forever. Oh wow. They're getting real aggressive here. This is a lot of big bad, big bad bads. I'm uncomfortable with it. I mean, it might just be Baldi being a horde here, to be quite honest. God, no. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty good. Whew. All right. Yeah, that's fine. God, I still have five cards in hand. Brutal. Murdering Baldivian Horde here is probably game. Oh, you're getting back. You're you're cycling your un. Oh, you're discarding your your forest to get back undead gladiator. That's pretty good. Time to just double block the horror. Like they have to. Yeah, it's fine. It's a three for one. <laughs> it's not good, dude. Feels bad, man. Did he say it feels Batman? Yep. Deal. Sure. Oh, thank you. That's fantastic. Wow. Why would you ever put those shields down when I'm playing a burn deck? Good lord, that was good. I see. Well, you know what they say. Bail off null, buddy. All right, windmill slam this guy. See what happens. So we know they have... I guess we just know they have twisted and horror. Snore crash two months in a row. Thanks so much, man. Welcome back. Yeah, Bailoth Null is a hell of a card. Like, I don't understand why you'd tap out for like this stupid idiot when it, when you have when I have a when I have like burn spells in my deck. They clearly don't have murder, otherwise you just murder this guy instantly, right? What? No. <laughs> well, I don't feel like going to seven here, I don't think. Yeah, it seems fine. God, they have so many cards in hand. What up, Tin Man? Null Drifter, that's a gas that's gas, actually. That's a great name for that guy. 
I am a fan. Not of the card, but of the of the name. It also doesn't have any eyes, so I don't know how you're actually finding these creatures in the graveyard. I feel like that's something that needs eyes. That's that's a All right, we're going to draw a card here, obviously. What are we shooting? This guy regenerates. This guy dies automatically. Secret Alien. Here's enough to make rem Also seeing it, if the fans going to make me go nuts, been a fan for a while, so I thought I would contribute as much as I could. Could, could, could. Alphabet stipulation would be awesome to see one day. I like alphabet stipulation. I just worry about getting the cards. I think I worry too much about stipulations just because it's like, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I, oh God. Four, five, six. We draw a card, it deals one damage. So we can deal two damage with these two. Deal a damage, deal a damage. This is nine. That's not very comfortable. Like, the only combo with this is it's like I tap it to deal a damage, and then I draw a card from this, and then I draw a card from this, right? I just draw two, right? That's all that happens. Well, that's kind of funny. Oh, it's only draw one then. All right, that's that's worse, but it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, that was confusing. I'm trying to like figure out how this works. Like, I think it's because they're like, uh, how we couldn't kill Null this turn. We only have four damage. We don't have five. There's no way to do that. Like, we could tap Niv. We could deal one from the draw step. We can deal one from Niv Mizzet, and we can deal one from Pyroclasm. I mean, I guess we could put the thing on this guy and then shoot. Draw a card, shoot. I mean, let me take five, though. It doesn't seem great. I guess we're hoping you can't kill our crab. I mean, yeah, we could have done this, but then we would have tapped both of these guys. Like, we dealt no damage. Whereas next turn, we have four, five, six, seven. Eh. I mean, if we top deck Sift and they don't have a way to kill our flyers, we're, we win. <laughs> and they don't kill Horseshoe Crab, which is a pretty tall order. Well, we're going to combat, so that's a good sign. Yep, Horseshoe Crab just blocks all day. We know you have Horror of the Broken Lands in hand. Just play that guy and don't have anything else. Is that what you're going to do? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sift. Ghost ship. Hmm. 
So kill this guy. This creature does the damage to target player or draw a card. Don't have one card that cycles, I guess. All right. <laughs> so block Twisted Abomination again. Maybe kill you next turn? I do realize that putting the dagger on does nothing. We, we, we already went over this. <laughs> like, probably five minutes ago. I wasn't sure. Like, I actually... So, this niv it confused me with the other niv because I think they're actually opposites, right? Okay. So, one says whenever it deals damage, you draw a card, and then says whenever... Then the other one says whenever you draw a card, it deals damage. So, like, they're actually... They're, they're both opposites, which is kind of confusing. So I just keep getting their abilities confused. Like, if this was the one that said, whenever it deals damage, draw a card, then we could shoot them and draw a card from this, and then this would also let us draw a card. Yep. All right, cool. Yeah, we would have just won. If they didn't, if they didn't draw a big confrontation, we win the game. Attempted Arcane Denial, just because they have so many big idiots. We take out one pyroclasm for arcane denial. Can they beat a fortune thief? I'm not sure they can beat a fortune thief. I mean, they don't seem to have that much removal, right? Like, we saw Epic and we saw one murder. I wonder if they can't beat a Fortune Thief, but we can just protect it. And we have four Counterspells. We have Arcane, Counterspell, Counterspell, and Pact. That's pretty good. We could also play Flash and just like, whoop, Flash in Fortune Thief. Got him. I will play first. I'm going to keep this hand. It's fine. It's got all the lands we need. Their deck isn't uh, especially fast. Okay. Well, this is good times. Yep. It's actually pretty good. All right, well. So they got two swamps, so they have swamp in hand. Seems fine. I got my ghost ship. Cultivate again. All right. You have two and three. Let's see what happens here. Now you have three and three, so you put a forest into play, you have two swamps in hand. Wow, this is a lot of lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lands, four cards. Sure. This is match one, Tin Man. Oh, it's one woolly boy. Well, thankfully this idiot doesn't have trample, so that's nice.
two four flying for four is great um but being able to regenerate for three is pretty rough like just doesn't seem that good this is where the epic confrontation this guy The one, the one swamp up. Oh my god. This dude's pretty good, right? Oh, we're supposed to play the stupid island. Oh, that was so bad. I can't believe I just did that. so bad Fortune Thief is a reference for a reference to Ollie from Cairo. Fierce Empath. I assume we played both of these. I have no idea. I hope you have no more guys that cost six or greater. Or you do, and you're just really having a hard time picking which one to kill me with. Yeah, this is hard to deal with. They just have too many big guys. Oh, God, this one, this one swamp is just killing me. <laughs> well, I guess that's a thing. Wow. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands. Whew. All right. So 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How much can we deal here? If we just block here, I guess that's the same as not blocking, right? But if they have removal, we die. So we deal two with Chandra, so we go to 10. 11, 12, they go to eight. I don't know why I said 11, 12, they go to eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. I do have mana to flip Fortune Thief. It's cost double... Like, that's the whole point of why I kept double red up. <laughs> Whew, 
I like that because they didn't respond. And now we get to try to draw a counterspell. Yes! That's got to be game, right? Oh my god. That's insane. No gamble, no future. Discard. One card. All right. They obviously didn't have a removal spell last turn. <laughs> Otherwise, Fortune, Fortune Thief would be dead. Do you have any incentive to attack here if you don't have a removal spell? I guess you do. Might as well get rid of a guy. I don't know. Invigorate. Richard, plus four, plus four. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, I could care less about the pirate ship. We don't have to keep up counterspell now because we just went on our turn if they uh, have a way to deal with Fortune Thief. If they had a way to deal with Fortune Thief, you just kill it. Like, you just have to try to win the game. But now we get to deal two more, plus two more, that's four, plus two more, plus however much we deal on their turn. So. Got him! Wow, that was a great game. That was gas. I don't foresee myself hitting GP Seattle. I actually just got back from Seattle last week to visit some friends. So I can't imagine going all the way back. Man, that game was gas. I thought we were dead. I thought we were dead. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a donation go. It's been a little, a little, a little closer to seven recently, so we're gonna say seven. Same amount to zero. Join. And after what is April? Thirty-one days. Thirty. I will definitely play first. All right. Oh, uh, definitely keeping this hand. Wow, that game was fantastic. What a game. That seems good against the white deck. I don't know what kind of white deck you are, but I feel like that's a good card to have against you. Oh no, that is not gonna, ha oh, that, that just fires off immediately against our deck, holy smokes. Hey, it's a little crabby. Come on, dagger on top. Dagger on top, dagger on top. I want a quick super dagger on top. on top. Not admirable. You better use this on Chipotle and not rent. Wow, okay. That's uh That's something right there. Dagger on top, not a dagger on top. 
Time to just pyroclasm to get rid of this one dude. I think we're okay without it though. There was no dagger on top. There was no Dagron on top either. Tempted to Chartooth Cougar. This is a deck where we want to hit our land drops, and it lets us, it guarantees we can skeletonize. That's annoying, but whatever. Nathan, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. I will definitely use that donation on uh, on Chipotle. If that was indeed you, it's uh, they said they were not admirable, but I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. Hey, that's pretty good. I wonder if we just kill this morph. I guess we have pyroclasm to kill the morph, right? We could also just bounce their guys so that we know what the morph is. Secret Alien, you got 690 bucks to go, buddy. How how much do you really support the stream? Yeah, our rent was actually raised this year, so I hadn't updated it, but I feel like I might as well. Because, I mean... Oh, wow, why would you do that? So now we're gonna do some we're gonna do some cool stuff here. Ready? Dagger on top. Dagger on top. Uh, return you. Untap you. Return you. Let's see what you are. Oh, it's a dragon's eye savant. And return yourself. <laughs> Boop. Everybody wins. Dagger. Oh, you're not a dagger. Daggers. Do I just play this guy? I want all the cards in my hand. Hmm. Hmm. Well, 5-5 five, five seems good, but I don't want to discard anything in our hand. That's the problem here. Oh, dang it, Krabby. Dang it, Krabby. I think that's still fine. I think our hand is still great. Oh, it also dies too. Well, actually, if they block with Dragon's Eye Savant, we just Pyroclasm and kill it. Seems fine. So long, Krabby. We had a good run. Krabby, we had a good run. I'll always miss you. Uh oh, something's... Oh, oh, the second path of peace. Well, that's peaceful. This guy costs six normally? Yeah, it's fine. Could have also packed at that. I don't know if that's good, though. Like, I just don't care about any of the cards in their hand, really, so. Okay, I'm going to assume we know what both of those are. This would have been a great turn to Brine Elemental if we only had one more mana. I mean, we don't care about the Baltivian Horde really because they can just block with the 06. I mean, we can use our Pyroclasm to get rid of it if we had to, but I don't know. I'm not thrilled with that entire interaction because we couldn't do it this turn. We would be paying for the pack to this turn. What's up, Tom to Tom Tom? Pretty all right. How about yourself? Yeah, we're not blocking. We'll just take four and go back to 20. Sure. 
shoreline ranger. Do 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 do. Land, 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 land. That's not a land at all. That's not a land at all. Why aren't you a land? You're not a land at all. Not an, uh, another perfect opportunity to flip Brine Elemental because they have two tap creatures and six tap lands, so it's basically a time walk. How far is too far to travel for nationals? Uh, depends on what it means to you. Like, I can't... I can't determine what's too far for you to drive. So, you know. All right, well, let's try a thing, I guess. Atomic Waffles, what's going on? They asked me if I was still with TCG Player. I'm like, mm, not for like two years, buddy. It's been a while. I came back from my hiatus for the current standard and this set. Nice. All right, cool. So I got, it's an old school fan. Yes, I agree. Con within country is good. Outside is too far. If you're actually going outside of the country t to play in nationals, you might be in for a bad time. Three and a half days of driving is also probably too much. You probably just want to want to buy a plane ticket at that point. To show me the way I want you. I think our hand is really good. Oh, what, they're tapping out? Oh. Interesting. I think that's actually fine. Both Pyroclasm and Skeleton Eyes deal with that guy. Plus, if they leave us with Pyroclasm, they might not have another blue card for this guy, so. We just drew another skeleton eyes. That's pretty good. Look then with your skeleton eyes. My skeleton. I don't know if that's any good. Wow, aggressive. What if we top deck another pyroclasm? That'd be sick, right? A ranger. If only Skeleton Eyes can go to your face, that would be great. Face is the place. Skeleton Eyes cannot go face at Hanzo. Uh, no blocks, I'll take three. I don't know why. I guess because the opponent doesn't have a skeleton. If you know what I mean, where's your skeleton? God, I wish we had one more land. I guess we can play Ranger and keep up Pact. There's no way they don't block the 1-1 uh, one, one here. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to... Oh, the horseshoe crab. I forgot all about that guy. Don't care. I have one ones for days. What is this now? Oh, a preemptive regenerate. I gotcha. I gotcha. Look with your skeleton eyes. My brand. Any land we can play Ranger and keep up Counterspell, which is nice. We also have Pact. It's just, we just have it all. 
Oh, you're going to play something and think it's going to be... You're, you, you think it's going to be great. I don't think so. Maybe it'll be good. Who knows? You are com completely undecided on it, though. Oh, it's a Mystic of the Hidden Way. Okay. Well. <laughs> now you know. If you just skeleton the ship for getting the crab, aren't they dead? The skeleton eyes deals three damage as a two four. How do they How does that kill them? That doesn't even make any sense. And wouldn't they just block the brine elemental with the the crab instead? I have no idea what any of that I, don't, I have no idea what any of that play means. C clarify. C -c 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 clarify. I don't think we want to board anything else in. I think our I think we're pretty good here. I would say bring an arcane denial, but we already have three counter spells, so I'm okay, Dad. This hand's good. Show me the way. Luminarch Ascension is actually pretty frightening, though. Rest in... Oh, rest in peace is like three, three and a half tickets, four tickets, somewhere around there. So, the answer is yes. Oh, what a noble Templar you are. Actually, I'm not... Terribly scared of Luminarch Ascension anymore now that we have Quicksilver, da Quicksilver Dagger and uh, Horseshoe Crab. Old Crabarino. That's what I always call them. I, I I don't really always call them that. I think I, I call them that sometimes, but, you know, it's not a it's not always. Professor Dan Dan, you know it, buddy. There it is. There it is. Are you going to hurt my crab? Oh, no, you're just going to play a bunch of nerds, a bunch of defensive nerds. I'm going to go around you, though. That'll do, pig. Don't kill my crab. All right, they're getting a white man, which means they also... A, a, a plains, rather. So that means they can't path this turn. Double Luminarch Ascension. Ooh, the pressure is on, boys. Oh, double pyroclasm is a thing. Kind of. Not really, I guess. Probably should have taken a pyroclasm out, I guess. Private eyes. Like, there's no reason to draw more lands here because we just have a full grip. Do I care about that? Probably. Oh, wow. Wow. That just wins the match. Pact of Negation on your Murder of Crows just wins the match. That's insane. You have double path to peace. You could definitely kill this guy pretty easily. Wow. Our deck is uh, doing quite well, apparently. I don't like the word crab. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, I guess that's the thing. Well, I mean, what are you going to do? Sometimes you don't like crabs. Crabs. 
I mean, do you not like crabs or do you just not like the word crabs? What's the, uh, what's the, where are we sitting with that? If there's a crab in front of you, if I don't call it a crab, is that, is that okay? Another white deck. I'm comfortable with white decks. I mean, if they're more aggressive than the last deck, I don't need no double Luminarch Ascension coming down. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, all right. If they don't play anything relevant, we're definitely going to Ranger. So I kind of hope they don't play anything relevant. But, I mean, if we have to counter something, it doesn't matter if we keep the land up next turn, I guess. That crab is definitely MVP. But that's only double Quicksilver Dagger. It's pretty good. I could care. Wow, that is like the least exciting card you could have played. So long, little ranger. Shoreline Ranger of Eos. That's not what it's called. Why would he call it that? I don't actually think. I'm pretty sure they're going to attack next turn, so we don't actually need to kill this guy. I do want to keep up Counterspell. If we don't hit a land next turn, we can Sift and try to hit something, but... Could have just played Ghost Ship, but... I mean, and maybe it dies. Who knows? Yep. Let me get one more creature out of this Pyroclasm. That's all I want. It's more annoying than anything. I'm not going to counter that. Okay. Deal. Now we feel good about our life choices. And we get a land. What a deal. If we had a way to deal two more damage, we can get rid of this guy too. Not today. I don't care about your 05 though. How, Frank, how is where it's at? My grandmother was in the kitchen, you know, cutting onions. She does. The crab comes along and steals her welfare check. What am I supposed to feel? Not great. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, if you, if a crab comes along in the kitchen and steals your grandmother's welfare check, that, I mean, yeah, I, I understand. I, can, I get where you're coming from. That's not a great feeling. What, what could this be? Do I care about this? Probably not. I have skeleton eyes in hand. Look with your skeleton eyes. land oh stop give me the lands oh so good get rid of helix here i could care less about a helix now we get to keep up counter spell still i do want another red though oh well, i guess i don't care about the red now i want another land so we can skeletonize and keep up counter spell but either way we can play uh ghost ship and keep up counter spell what's up phoenix Oh my god. How many of these is too many? Where's my twisted image? Can we just twist the image these guys? Probably. Alright. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Seven mana. This seems better than a skeleton eyes. Is our opponent 2-0 two, two as well? Because, like, yeah, they are. Oh, wow. I'm wondering what this deck does. <laughs> We've seen Renewed Face, Main Deck Death's Head Buzzard, Double Nyx Fleece Ram, and Assembly Worker. I'm pretty confused. I 
All right, they didn't attack, so this guy is clearly not bigger than a two, four. What if we top deck the other Pyroclasm? That'd be pretty sick, right? Good lord, look at this hand. Yeah, I figured it was Corona Zealot, actually. Because I figured they didn't have a second white or five mana. Uh, we're not going to win this race if we attack here and they attack back. Like, that's not how that's going to work. So we can wait. Put a plot counter on it. Any player may activate this ability when there are five more plot counters. Destroy up to two creatures. So they so they're likely they're likely sitting on disfigure here. A chroma is also another option, I guess. I just have to assume they have disfigure. Oh well that's a good draw. If we had another red, we can actually just throw this guy in and then kill one of their sheep. Which is not terrible. Like, we just have to get rid of them at some point if we ever want to deal with, uh... If we want to attack with ground creatures. Um, flipping this guy next turn if they tap out for something stupid is... Yep. No, sir. Alright, this is gonna be... <laughs> this is gonna be the turn. Mountain or... N okay. <laughs> yeah, one down. Do 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 uh, I've looked at the Dominaria spoils. I haven't uh, really processed them well enough to uh, to really have an opinion on them. Oh, that was a good draw. And this is when we come back. At least I hope so. I feel like our three cards have to be at least as good as your three cards, right? We're going to start holding lands after this because... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, all right, that's fine too. So you can't cycle anything right now? That's interesting. Oh my. So I kind of want to Chandra's Outrage this guy just to get rid of it. This lack of red mana is uh, really not doing great for us but like if this guy if they have any cycling cards which they clearly do if they have uh, renewed faith and if they're playing renewed faith main deck I have to assume they have other cyclers as well um, and when we're burn based I kind of want to get rid of that guy as soon as possible yeah that's not a card I care about Um 
Put on the regenerating guy. This should give us enough advantage to uh, to take over. So if we attack with this guy, they're just going to block here. We kind of want them to block with this guy. And then we skeletonize this guy. It puts a negative. Well, I guess then, then they would just cancel out. So that's not going to help. Oh, no, if they block and then and then damage, we have three damage to be dealt, then we can actually kill this guy. But then this guy would be 5-4 with three damage, so he'd actually go down to a 4-3, and they'd all die. Everything dies, so. Um, it's not it's not really a two-for-one, because we also lose our skeleton. Eh, I guess it's technically a two-for-one. I'm actually going to play this land, though, because despite having Baldivian Horde in hand, we are going to probably draw a bunch of cards. So if we load up on lands, I want to be able to actually be able to play a land a turn. Caustic tar. Well, now we know pillage is coming in. That's actually pretty scary. Did you not? I can't tell if it did or not. Yep. All right. So. Ugh, I hate the way the triggers are stacked. All right. If we did it on our turn, we would get to keep the skeleton, but like, I'd rather not have five mana wasted at the end of their turn. Sure. I don't know what you could have, actually. You have three cards. Even if you have a plus one, plus two, plus two, like... Still trade? Disfigure? Okay. Still eight damage. You killed the 5-4 instead of the 5-5? Five, five? That's... Odd to me. <laughs> All right. I think I'm I think I'm I think actually trading Noble Templar for Disfigure and Brine Elemental seems like a pretty like that seems like a major punt to me, but So 7 8 9 10 11 we have 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 um, and we go to four here, which is pretty scary. We're probably bringing in pillage. Can they deal four? Yep. Okay. 
guess we just attack here. Two cards. I don't know what they could have. That's pretty good. I mean, they make three guys, I guess. But don't you die to Niv-Mizzet? Why would you show me that? That's weird. Emersion, have a good night, buddy. But you can't escape my eyes. Private eyes. All right, so... Pillage comes in to deal with the... Uh, let me take out a pyroclasm. Not good. Tempted to bring in Fortune Thief again? It was actually very good when we had it. I think it's probably better than Dragon's Eye Savants, right? Like, if they can't deal with Fortune Thief, it just keeps us alive. Keep in mind that this only affects damage, so if they have Caustic Tar and they try to kill us with a Caustic Tar, we uh, still die. Right? Because it's it's deal it's a lose three life, right? Yeah, target player loses three life. Yeah, so. And we didn't. I wish we saw some artifacts like Primal Clay or something, but. Uh, I'm not a big Brainstorm fan. Like, there's no... If there's no, no way to, like, shuffle your cards back in, Brainstorm is actually terrible. Because you're like, oh, I'll look at the top three cards. I'll put two of them back. I'll just draw the next card. Like, it just doesn't get you anywhere. A lot of people don't realize that. But you're just... Lo it's, it's... It's... Eh. They have a lot of O5s. I wish we did have one Twisting Image. That would be nice. Just Arcane Denial. I almost wonder if the Cinderstorm, the one of Cinderstorm, is just good enough. I'm going to try it out. Their deck doesn't seem fast at all, so. I mean, we have two basic land cyclers, but, like, if I'm drawing with Brainstorm, I'd rather, have, I'd rather be able to keep those guys because they're very good. I got pillage right here. I boarded one in already. Come on, no beats. Oh, the sand actually seems great. I'll keep it. Three payoffs for brainstorm. What are they? I mean, Niv Mizzet is one of them. Like being able to draw the three cards and deal three. Sure. But, I mean, we also have that with, like, Quicksilver Dagger and uh, Sift. Like, we have other cards that do that. I don't need to play the, the subpar card to make that happen. What are the other two cards? I'm curious. Oh, I did not watch a lot of GP Phoenix, actually. God, my red landscape is always impressive to me whenever I see it. Give me an island off the top. What up, Jinx the Chicken? That is not an island. Oh, uh, I think the top eight decks in the top eight looked great. I think Modern looks super healthy. I makes me laugh at all the people who were so afraid of Jace the Mind Sculptor being unbanned when there were only four copies in the top eight. I don't know. People are just... People like having strong positions on things because it makes them feel... Uh... I don't know, more intellectual than other people. You know, like, that they've given it more thought than other people have. You know, that's that's the kind of feeling that it, it imparts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm watching the lies, because you can't escape my eyes. Let's see if this just kills this guy. Yeah, I figured it was Corona. M -m -m my Corona. And I, this, the, I'm un, them untapping with this guy is pretty pretty bad. If we waited to play this on their turn, they could redirect the four damage to like this guy. Eh, it's pretty bad. Isan Shade, that's also pretty bad. I 
No Niv Mizzet. How about Ghost Ship? Oh, that's fine. Cause you can escape. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, now we're now we're seeing what's happening here. I will trade with your Isan shade. Did he hear me say that? I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're kind of missing lands here. We've missed two land drops. If we hadn't, we could have played niv Mizzet by now, which is pretty good. I don't think we win this game. Land, not a land. Well, you can get a land. Can we take nine here? That's brutal. I don't know if they have any. Yeah, they still got things. All right. Caustic Tar, Noble Templar, and an Exclusive Ram. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good. Block here, we take a lot. All right. I mean, we're actually not dead. If we can deal with... Annoying Angels. I don't know if we're going to be able to now, but... Mishra's Factory. All right, that's probably the end. <gasps> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's worse. God, not being able to hit a land here is just brutal. We go block, block. We can take two. So we have four threats that we have to deal with. We can go block, block. God, one land lets us skeletonize and retraction helix. What up, Josh? Also, if we had a red instead, or a blue instead, another blue instead of a red, we could actually play Ghost Ship and Retraction Helix. Like, right now, we're actually pretty pretty badly locked into our colors. That's pretty sad. You can escape my eyes. I guess we could draw something like um, Chandra's face. So we can bounce one, shoot the other, block, block. All right, let's see what happens, I guess. Block here, block here. Might just want to go to one here, actually, because there's not really that much of a difference going between one or two. If we chump block here, we can chump one, bounce one. But then we can't kill it if we draw Chandra's Outrage. Chandra's Outrage one time. We tried. Man. Alright, 
actually don't like Pyroclasm at all in this matchup. Totally Lost seems better if they're making, like, Caustic Tars and, um... What do you call it? Angels? So we'll bring that in instead. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. You can't escape my eyes. Does the Osek have flying? No, it just looks like it does. If it had flying, it'd be great, but unfortunately, nay. Like, I don't like Fortune Thief either against the black-white deck, but they don't actually have much. I'm actually just going to bring them in real quick because we might not have time to swap them out. I actually think this card's reasonable against them. They don't have the cards that punish us for playing Fortune Thief. You can't escape my Yes, keep. It's a good hand. Got the dubs blues. Just gonna get a little crabby next turn. Sure. Is it up to? It's gotta be up to, right? Yeah, okay. I will take a dagger one time and then I'll let you uh, take forever to activate this if you want. Oh, I see the combo going on here. That is a lot of cards. We can also just put the, the Deadly Designs on top after they spend, like, their 10th mana for the plot counter. That's kind of funny. We'll get in there with one. It's a free damage. Oh, just stop it. Really? Wow, that's a great deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
If they play Urbis Protector, we're Pact of Negationing it. 100%. Favorite card art? Um, I really... Actually, I don't know if it's my favorite card art ever. But I really like the um, the art for the new Cryptic Command. Heavy breathing. The heaviest of breathing. <laughs> this is a busted interaction, man. <laughs> And we got packed up. Woo hoo hoo boy. What do we draw? Just four cards there? Gross. No blocks. Also, Retraction Helix makes it so I don't really care about like something like Urbis Protector. My favorite Ravnica guild, um, probably Simic, I think. Yeah, I don't care about that thing. I don't care about any of these things. I can just bounce your whole board, man. Do you think this is a game? So we can go bounce, bounce, bounce. That's what we wanted. One for Helix. So they have designs, Templar, Buzz, Worker. Um, no, I'm just gonna pack that. So you can play Buzzard, Planes. Now you can play Buzzard and Designs. Sure. Yep. All right. So buzz and designs. Because <laughs> that's a thing. I mean, if they want to trade Death's Head Buzzard for a skeleton. That is a good deal. What's up, Alistair Kane? It's going okay. Um, I guess we just actually play... They can't actually get five counters on here, so... Like, we have so many good cards like that in our deck that I just feel like if we just get them four more damage lower. Put them to four and then, like, double... Oh, we'll just keep that up, actually. That's pretty perfect. Let's get rid of one mountain. Yeah, so this deck turned out pretty good. This might be the best deck we've drafted in this format. Oh, as indicated by the victory. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. If you guys have enjoyed the stream or if you guys have enjoyed any of these, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. They help me out a ton. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.